Hey guys, happy weekend, my goodness. I don't know why Friday seemed to just drag by today. Um, I'm not gonna do, I don't think, a lot of planning on camera right now, but um, I'm just gonna kind of show you where I am. I felt like today was a day I needed to kind of really look at my pages and I guess evaluate what was on my weekly that still needed to get done and put that on my weekend pages and stuff, so. This monthly, it's pretty, um, but basically it just has like things I already knew, things I kind of don't have to worry about, things that are already on my weekly spread, things that are irrelevant to this week. So I haven't really been looking at this very often. I keep checking it to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I'm not missing anything. So this is my weekly. Um, I've been adding a couple more things to this, like this list, this list, kind of, they're just kind of the same list at this point. Um, I did do that and some of this is going to be weekend things some of them are sort of hopefully I can get away with it or <laughs> hopefully I can get to it kind of things um, but there's a lot of stuff this weekend that's like not my uh, goal but like the family's goal and that kind of takes priority you know so I'm trying to work a little bit on finishing up the prep stuff for my Comic-Con vlogs because the more I can do beforehand like making the thumbnails and typing up the descriptions and stuff the less I'll have to worry about while I'm there. Um, I made just like the tiniest little uh, here we go the tiniest little shopping list of things that I want um, to add to look for when I'm on the convention floor and then this is my weekend. The big thing tomorrow is we're having our sod delivered finally we've been working on our backyard since holy saturday the day before easter we had some friends come over and help us dig out some of the weeds and old sandy dirt in our backyard so we've leveled the whole thing it's ready to go um, we added topsoil we we've been just working my husband especially has been working his butt off out there weekend after weekend and we're finally at the point where we're going to lay the sod tomorrow um so that's the main thing. And the question of how long that's going to take, I don't know. Um, but basically, this is the grass page. I guess if I have any notes, <laughs> I could write them here. I've basically been using this section for notes. Um, like I said, here's this little shopping list. Um, here I was testing out my new microphone with a couple different settings to see what worked and what didn't, so I just used this. Um, so it's not really for events so much if there's no set schedule. Like I have one thing that is on Sunday. I guess it's an hour long, probably maybe longer. Um, so basically this side is sod and may or may not get to anything else. We're planning to go out to dinner so we don't have to worry about even that. Then on this page is where I've added all of the other things I'd like hopefully to work on either Sunday or the following Monday, Tuesday, um, before we go to Comic-Con. So I'd like to put away the last of her, well, all of most of the toys that the baby got for her birthday. They're all just in the guest room right now. They just need to be organized. Um, need to clean the bathrooms. Need to finish cutting liners for the diapers and stuff like that. Um, and then these things on, on this side of the list is planner stuff. So I think after... I gave myself that idea during my vlog yesterday. I think instead of using my micro notes, I'm going to go back to my Filofax um, for next week and for Comic-Con. So I'm going to um, set that up. I've printed out some inserts and things that need to get punched and stuck in, um, planned and all of that. Um, basically, I have to just set up the whole week. There's specific things that I like to do to make sure that I have everything set up before a convention to make the most of it. Um, again, I keep plugging the same video from two years ago. You can check out uh, my how I plan for conventions in my uh, bullet journal. I actually I rewatched it yesterday and I was pretty impressed. I put a lot of work into that video. So I hope you found it useful if you're planning to go to a convention at any time. Um, Shout out to VidCon peeps, I guess, that's happening right now. Even though I live really close, I've never actually been, maybe someday. I don't know, I don't feel like there's a big like planner community presence at VidCon, but if that's wrong, then let me know because I would go next year. 
Um, I haven't added anything to this page in a while. I was trying to keep everything kind of condensed to give myself room, but then I ended up taking notes on my daily pages instead. And then this was the list of things that I wanted to move on to the next planner. So I didn't forget them, but there are some things on my dailies that I want to move to. So I'm going to have to flip through the whole thing and migrate stuff as I go anyway. Um, but it's only a week of flip through, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, that's where we are this week. Basically, um, like I feel like I'm kind of coming to the end of this week, even though I still have two more days. I'm kind of thinking about how this worked for me. The thing I am really liking the most about this Clever Fox Planner is all of the um, reflection stuff where you can rate your productivity every single day, how you're talking about improvement for the next day. Um, I like that there's like a, a goal, one per week, one per day. I like that it incorporates um, rewards for completing that goal. And I really am loving this page, which I should, I'm going to try to fill this out this weekend to kind of get a feel for how this works. But I really like this weekly review page. So that's what this planner is really good for. Um, again, you can check out the link to their website below. They did send me this for review. So I don't know whether I would feel differently about it if I had paid money for it. Um, but as it is, I feel fine just using it for a week. I like, I like certain elements of it, but I'm ready to move into something a little bit less clunky and thick and um, hardbound. Like I want to move back to the creativity of my rings and being able to insert things as I go. I miss my file facts. So uh, yeah, tomorrow you get to watch this lay saw it, I think. And then after that, maybe we're gonna start working on setup for Comic-Con in my file effects. So don't forget to subscribe because as I keep mentioning, I'm posting videos every single day this month and I don't want you to miss them. So that's what the bell is for, I think. And it's done there. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.